In its decree Orientalium Ecclesiarum No. 27, Vatican II actually teaches that baptized non-Catholics who belong to schismatic Eastern sects which reject the papacy may be given the sacraments of penance, the Holy Eucharist, and extreme unction if they believe in these sacraments even though they don't have the Catholic faith and don't belong to the Catholic Church. Keep in mind that in this passage, Vatican II refers explicitly to people who are separated from the Catholic Church. Quote, Given the aforementioned principles, the sacraments of penance, Eucharist, and anointing of the sick can be conferred on Orientals who are found to be separated from the Catholic Church in good faith if they ask of their own accord and are rightly disposed. End quote. That is blatant heresy. Vatican II's teaching that non-Catholics may lawfully be given the Holy Eucharist is directly contrary to the teaching of the Catholic Church throughout history. Non-Catholics have always been prohibited from receiving communion, even if they believe in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. They are required to accept Catholic teaching and enter the Catholic Church prior to being given Holy Communion. Their separation from the Catholic Church and their descent from Catholic teaching is a divine law impediment to the state of grace and to their fruitful reception of Holy Communion. Popes throughout the ages have taught that non-Catholics who receive the Eucharist receive it to their damnation. Therefore, any teaching which asserts, as Vatican II does, that it's lawful for non-Catholics to receive Holy Communion is false and wicked. It actually leads non-Catholics to their damnation. Such a wicked teaching cannot come from the Catholic Church. Here's what true popes taught on this matter. Pope Pius VIII, Traditi Humilitati, 1829, quote, Jerome used to say it this way, He who eats the lamb outside this house will perish, as did those during the flood who were not with Noah in the ark, end quote. Pope Gregory XVI, Calmissium Divinitus, 1835, quote, Whoever dares to depart from the unity of Peter might understand that he no longer shares in the divine mystery. Whoever eats the lamb outside of this house is unholy, end quote. Pope Pius IX, Amantissimus, 1862, quote, Whoever eats of the lamb and is not a member of the church has profaned, end quote. Vatican II's declaration that non-Catholics may receive Holy Communion also denies the defined dogma that there is no salvation outside the Catholic Church, for only those considered to be on the path to salvation may receive the Eucharist. Indeed, in Vatican II's Constitution Sacrosanctum Concilium No. 47, and in the New Catechism No. 1402 and No. 1405, the Eucharist is said to be a pledge of eternal life or future glory. Since Vatican II teaches that non-Catholics may receive the pledge of eternal life, it of course follows that Vatican II teaches that they can receive eternal life despite being separated from the Catholic Church. That is heresy. In addition to contradicting the dogma outside the Catholic Church there is no salvation, Vatican II's passage specifically denies the Council of Florence's declaration that, quote, only for those who abide in it, the Catholic Church, did the Church's sacraments contribute to salvation, end quote. Vatican II's assertion that non-Catholics may be given the sacrament of penance is also heretical. It denies the Catholic dogma that there is no remission of sins outside the Catholic Church. Pope Boniface VIII, Unum Sanctum 1302, quote, This church, outside of which there is no salvation nor remission of sin, end quote. If absolution in the sacrament of penance, which presupposes that a person can have his or her sins forgiven, may be given to a non-Catholic as Vatican II teaches, then according to Vatican II, a non-Catholic can have the remission of sins outside the Catholic Church. It means that a person can have his or her sins taken away without the Catholic faith and even while rejecting Catholic teaching. That is false and heretical. A person must be reconciled to the Catholic Church before being given absolution in the sacrament of penance. Vatican II's heretical teaching that non-Catholics may be given Holy Communion and the sacrament of penance has been reiterated many times by the Vatican II antipopes in official documents. These proclamations apply Vatican II's heretical teaching not merely to Eastern schismatics, but also to baptized heretics of various non-Catholic denominations who believe in the particular sacrament they want, even though they are not Catholic. The heresy that non-Catholics may receive Holy Communion is taught in the New Catechism, paragraph 1401, in the New Code of Canon Law, Canon 844.3 and 4, by John Paul II in his Encyclical Ut Unum Sint, Numbers 46 and 58, as well as in his General Audience, August 9, 1995, and in the Directory for the Application of Principles and Norms on Ecumenism, which John Paul II officially approved. The position that non-Catholics may be given Holy Communion is definitely the official teaching of the False Vatican II Church, while the official teaching of the Catholic Church and all the true popes is just the opposite. Some have attempted to defend Vatican II's wicked heresy on the grounds that its allowance for non-Catholics to receive communion only applies in danger of death. That is false. In Orientalium Ecclesiarum No. 27 and in other statements on the issue, 
The permission is not limited to danger of death. See, for example, the New Catechism number 1401 and the New Code of Canon Law, Canon 844.3. Moreover, even if it were limited to danger of death, which it most certainly isn't, it wouldn't make any difference. That's because a person must accept the Catholic faith and belong to the Catholic Church in order to receive Holy Communion to his or her benefit. That remains true at all times in a person's life. Vatican II's teaching is revolutionary, false, heretical, and evil.